Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and in this video today we will be painting a landscape and I will be using this Fontaine watercolor paper. It is cold press watercolor paper 300 GSM or 140 pounds 100% cotton 18 by 24 centimeters or 7 by 9 and a half inches. I will start with privetting my paper using this large mop brush, but you can use any brush you have, that's fine. I do want it to be quite wet because it's hot here in my studio, so the paper dries very fast, so be careful to wet it properly and evenly. I have mixed some ultramarine turquoise and some brown to paint in the first part of the sky and I did paint it in the upper part of the sky and then some very very thin lines in the central part also on top of that added some yellow again in between those lines that I've painted with blue. With this tissue paper I'm just picking up some clouds. I do want it to have just an even look at the part where the sky is so I've just pick up, picked up some of the paint. Afterwards again with the same mixture of colors ultramarine turquoise and brown I'm painting in the distance. This could be maybe some buildings or also some trees, forest. Just using those colors to paint in to block in where the where those shapes are going to be in the distance and just make sure your paper is wet when you do that because we do want some bleeds here. Afterwards I smudge it just the lower part because I don't want a harsh line downwards if your paper did start it to dry. If not you won't be having those harsh lines. Then I left it to dry completely and moved on to the layer that is near to us, something that is near to the foreground. And now just painting in some pine trees and also some other shapes of the trees. You can paint here any shape of the tree you like, some bushes, that's just fine. Whatever you like to put in here will be fine. For this layer, I'm just using a little bit more pigmented, same colors, ultramarine, turquoise and brown, but just a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more saturated. Afterwards, again, left that layer to dry completely and then moved on to the layer that is closest to us. And then to the same mixture of colors, ultramarine, turquoise and brown, I've added just a little bit of the green to paint in my trees and also that they could be any shapes you like. Now with this flat brush, this is a brush with very very stiff uh, bristles, I'm just painting in, adding some shapes, topping in. This brush is dry and I have picked up with the tip of it some paint and then just topping in some trees and some bushes there. Also I have picked up some black and in the part in the center part and in between those trees I'm just topping in that black making it look like there are some more rows of the trees and not just one. Then I've mixed in some of the yellow with my green to make it a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellowish and then painted in the part where the grass is, is something that is going to be in the foreground. With a little bit of the green I'm just adding some more textures, some more uh, diversity to that grass and then with black in which I've added just a little bit of ultramarine I'm painting in the road and the central part of the road we do want it to be slightly darker looking like there is some maybe a car is going there and the road is used so some parts of it are a little bit darker some a little bit lighter. And when finished with my road, I also added a little bit more of the details to the grass, some of the brown, just stopping in with the tip of my brush. And I'm not going to do any specific details. I'm not going to do any shapes, just adding in, just stopping in with the tip of my brush, adding layers, adding textures. And that is how I will be creating the appearance of some of the uh, maybe flowers, some different grasses in that part of my painting. And also just near to the road I've added a few lines, also again not uh, straight lines, but just stopping with the tip of my brush to make it look as though it, there is some height in that grass. Now with a white gouache, couple of splatters, also with some yellow, couple of splatters to mimic some flowers. 
I left all of that to dry completely and then just painting in the thing that is nearest to us that is definitely a foreground that is the tree on the right side and I have started with the same mixture I use it, used for my trees mixture of some green uh, ultramarine turquoise and brown and very very light wash painted in the first wash added a little bit more of the pigments to paint in the second wash and then a little bit black to paint in the nearest layer the one that is the central part of the tree so just when you paint your tree outer part of the tree paint the lightest and then just going inside to the tree paint it a little bit darker and darker now with this Lebensohn brush I'm painting in some branches also painted a tree trunk with black and some of the branches which I do not want to be visible completely I've just painted those branches here and there sticking out it is looking a little bit more believable some of them are visible and some of them are not visible due to the leaves in front of them also a couple of splatters and toppings with the white gouache to have some flowers a little bit more of the details and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and this video i hope you like it it's quite simple again and if you do like it please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me maybe consider even joining my channel that that join next to the subscribe i forgot to say there is one new feature on my channel that's that thanks button just again near to the subscribe button and you might want to check what does that mean you can leave a tip for this video if you do like it and that would be just very helpful to me keep doing what i love doing for free again thank you guys a lot for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye